Hello friend. Here we have our Xbox that is already plugged into a TV. We have our Elgato HD60, an extra HDMI cable, the mini USB cable, as well as the Elgato chat link cable. First step is unplugging the HDMI cable from your Xbox. So the Xbox HDMI cable you just unplugged, you're going to plug it into this side of the capture card. You want to make sure the other end of this cable is still in your TV. Then you'll take your extra HDMI cable, plug it in on this side, and you'll run the other end of this back into your Xbox's HDMI port. Next we're going to take our Chatlink audio cable, plug it in on this side over here, then grab the mini USB, plug it in on the other side, and this mini USB cable is what goes into your computer. Now we're going to grab the other end of the chat link cable. We're going to plug this into the bottom of the controller. And then this other splitter piece, this is where our headphones will plug into. After getting everything plugged in, you'll want to download the Elgato Game Capture HD program. And I'll have a link for this in the video description below. Then to get the settings hooked up correctly, you want to go to the top right, click this icon, it'll bring down this menu, and for the input device make sure it's set to Xbox, have HDMI selected, make sure the analog audio is selected as well. You can keep this set on expanded, and then here you can choose between 1080 or 720, and make sure you allow 60 frames per second. Then the other thing you need to change is go to audio and I bumped this up to 6 decibels. At first I had this set to 12 decibels so I could get the most audio that I could, but there was a little bit of a feedback coming through so I lowered it down to 6. Then just click OK. And if everything is set up correctly, you should be able to view your Xbox right here. Now there will be a little delay between your TV and your computer, but don't worry about that. Now back on the Xbox, you want to go down to your settings, Display and sound, volume, chat mixer, and you want to set this to do nothing. And then with the party chat output, you want to make sure it's set to headset and speakers. This way, whenever there's voice chat, it'll go through the TV so that your capture card can pick it up. Then at your home button, you'll want to scroll over to system, go down to audio, and these two settings you might want to tweak to your own preference. This is just how I have mine set up. But the mic monitoring, you want to make sure that this is turned up. This plays back your own voice through your headset, which allows it to come out of your TV so your capture card can pick it up. So you definitely want to make sure that when you're playing, you have your TV and your computer speakers muted. That way there's no kind of echo or anything like that. Now back on your computer, you should be ready to record by hitting the big red button. If a nuclear bomb goes off, probably did something wrong. Hopefully you find this helpful, and if so, I would appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comments and I'll try to help you through it. Goodbye.